dropping in on Matisse. Hello there, my name is Puffer. Today am I, I am on my way to visit the famous French artist, Henry Matisse. Mr. Matisse lives in the south of France near the Mediterranean Sea. Would you like to come along? My map shows that we are near Mr. Matisse's home. Yikes, I forgot that I am flying. Whoa, flap, flap, flap. Look out below, flutter, flutter, flap, flap. Thump, bump, crash, oomph. Mr. Matisse hurries to the balcony to investigate the noise. Hello, what's this? What's that racket, he asked. Oh, hello, Mr. Matisse, I am Puffer. You were expecting me, sir. I am here to talk to you about your artwork. Yes, yes, Puffer, the interviewer, laughed Mr. Matisse. I'm glad to meet you, but I didn't expect you to fall from the sky. I've never been very good at landings. Perhaps learning to land is a little like learning to make art. You have to practice and practice and practice to become good at it. I think you are very right. Mr. Matisse invites Puffer into his studio. The studio is filled with all sorts of artwork. Bits of colored paper litter the floor. There is so much artwork in your studio, Mr. Matisse. I hardly know where to begin looking. Perhaps you would like to see one of my first well-known paintings, suggested Mr. Matisse. But first, I must warn you that after this painting was in an art show, I was called a wild beast. A wild beast? Why would an artist be called such a thing? Let's look at the painting and you can figure that out for yourself, said Mr. Matisse. That would be splendid. The title of this painting is Woman with the Hat. It is a portrait of my wife, said Mr. Matisse, as he pointed to a colorful painting on the wall. Woman with the hat must have been quite a surprise to the people who first saw the painting. Surprise indeed. People did not expect to see splotches of blue, yellow, green, and pink on Madame Matisse's face, exclaimed Mr. Matisse. Seeing flat shapes instead of little details was a surprise as well. Soon I was called a fauve. A fauve? That's a French word that means wild beast, explained Mr. Matisse. Are the bright colors and flat shapes why you were called a wild beast? That is one story, chuckled Mr. Matisse. Another story is that I wore a big furry coat to an art show and people thought I looked like a wild beast. That makes me very curious, Mr. Matisse. Would you tell me more about your life? With pleasure. Let's go look at some more art though. There we go, there's another one. Do you see harmony in the painting? Goldfish, asked Mr. Matisse. Harmony, isn't that a word used in music? Harmony is a word used in art and music, explained Mr. Matisse. Harmony in art is the way that all the parts of the picture fit together. To find the harmony, all you have to do is figure out how all the parts can fit. For example, look at all the round shapes in goldfish. Round shapes are repeated everywhere, exclaimed Puffer. There is a round table, a round jar, and round leaves. Even the eyes of the goldfish are round. There's harmony in the color too, said Mr. Matisse. If you look closely, you will see how everything seems tied together with the green, pink, and black. The colors and shapes in goldfish are very restful, Mr. Matisse. That was my idea, Mr. Matisse smiled. To me, a painting should be as comfortable as an old armchair. I was wondering, Mr. Matisse, have you made other kinds of artwork besides painting? Oh my, yes, exclaimed Mr. Matisse. After I moved here, I tried all sorts of art ideas and materials. I designed sets and costumes for a ballet, and then I learned about printmaking and how to make sculpture. I drew pictures for poems and a book. I created a mural, but as always, I painted and I painted and painted. You are very busy then. I am still busy, said Mr. Matisse. Some days I make art while I sit in bed, just like when I was a younger man and I wasn't feeling well. Many of my paintings show the inside of my art studio. Others show what is just outside my window. May we see one of those paintings? I'd be delighted to show you one, Mr. Matisse replied. It's another painting. This is called Interior with Egyptian Curtain, said Mr. Matisse as he points to a nearby painting. What do you see in this artwork? I see a large glass window with a black curtain hanging down on one side. A red, yellow, green, and white pattern covers the curtain. Below the window is a small table. A bowl of round fruit sits on the table. 
Outside is a palm tree that reminds me of exploding fireworks. Excellent, exclaims Mr. Matisse. You have found the most important objects in the painting. Do you see how the lines and colors are used in the painting? The lines guide my eyes around the pictures so that I see the most important objects. There are only a few colors. Having black next to the other colors makes them seem very bright. Exactly, said Mr. Matisse. What about the space in the painting? The space is a little mysterious to me. I cannot tell how far away any of the objects are. Mr. Matisse smiled and then asked, all good artwork should have a little mystery, don't you think? I'm gonna skip over to a cutout. Mr. Matisse shows Puffer a special work of art that is different from anything Puffer has ever seen. The title of this work is Les Condomas, said Mr. Matisse. It is what I call a paper cutout. A paper cutout? What's that? Paper cutouts are my own art invention, Mr. Matisse replied. I cut shapes from print painted paper and then carefully paste the shapes to the background. I see that every line, color, and shape in Les Condomas is in just the right place, Mr. Matisse. I plan each paper cutout as carefully as my paintings, Mr. Matisse explained. Do you see that Les Condomas is about the circus? Yes, I do. The two yellow shapes are acrobats who leap from their trapeze bars. Below them is a safety net made from black squares and rectangles. You are a good art observer, my friend, exclaimed Mr. Matisse. I have made many paper cutouts. Would you like to see another? I would. Before I tell you the title of this paper cutout, I will let you describe what you see, said Mr. Matisse. Hmm, there are three main shapes. The three main shapes, I think, are people. The green shape pounds on a drum, the black shape strums a guitar, and the white shape dances. What do you think all of this means, said Mr. Matisse? It seems to be a celebration of some sort. Would you please tell me the title now? It is called The Sadness of the King, and it is a celebration. The king is celebrating his long life, and around him are the things he has loved, replied Mr. Matisse. Could the king be you, Mr. Matisse? Some people seem to think so, Mr. Matisse answered. Mr. Matisse, you have shown us that trying new art ideas can be difficult, but because you never gave up, you became a successful artist. Remember, making good art takes time and practice, said Mr. Matisse. Oh my goodness, speaking of time, it is time to go. Thank you for showing us your artwork, Mr. Matisse. You are very welcome, replied Mr. Matisse, as he watched his new friend prepare to fly away. Au revoir, goodbye. I hope you had fun dropping in on Henry Matisse. Learning about artists and their artwork helps us to understand our world a little better. You can find Mr. Matisse's artwork in museums all over the world. Maybe one day you will see one of his paintings or sculptures, or even a big paper cutout. Until I see you again, au revoir, goodbye. Yeah.